Hey guys, peeps, welcome back to Snail TV. As you can see, uh, we pretty much have got the diff installed into the back, uh, redone. Haven't got the axles done or anything like that. Um, just gotta, yeah, tighten it all up, everything's ready to go, but um, things are looking pretty sweet, so. All right, peeps, so here we go. As I did say, it looks a bit special. All blacked out now. The exhaust is there. Um, I tapped that M5, uh, M6, sorry, uh, in the top here. Um, just so then it's a yeah. bolt. So, hey. Uh, Turbo's just going it's a bit spastic at the moment. But uh, yeah, everything else has come up pretty, pretty well. So, uh, I've been back and forth in between this bad boy and also this other bad boy. All right, I'm um, just trying to get uh, things all finished off around here. Uh, go kart's pretty much done. So just back and forth a little bit with Nathaniel from Fuel Tech Australia. Thank you very much, mate. Really, really appreciate it. Um, the thing is, oh yeah, I don't know. Smile on my face says it all. So oh, I always wanted to run Fuel Tech on these, but um, you know, uh, money and uh, you know, other things always come into hand but um i am so glad i made that switch it just it's it's a different go-kart again so i cannot wait to get this thing down at the track or something like that um we did take it down for a little quick rip uh just around the corner and back again and around the corner and back again um yeah it's quick um yeah it's got to be i don't know one of the quickest things i've ever been in so definitely is it was just hey buddy chill um yeah even you know turbo says that it is isn't it buddy so yeah i'm really really excited about um yeah this thing here it's pretty much all done there's just a couple more little things i'm just trying to figure out um just trying to think figure out the uh uh the gear selector at the moment buddy come here man um it selects we can get it to select neutral but um, yeah, just all the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Um, just can't get the voltages out of them yet. Uh, put an inline resistor, we've used the pull-up resistor, we've done a few things and nothing can get yet. So we're just a couple little more things that we're get, gonna get done. Um, but yeah, we'll get it, we'll get it happening very, very soon anyway. But it is, yeah, amazing. So I've now just sent that, um, that log into Nathaniel and he's just going to go over it one more time just to make sure adjustments are all, everything's all sweet. Um, and I still just need to do these core packs. So what I've figured, I'm not going to make any brackets, is I'm going to use the boots from uh, the coil packs and that is how they work. They are just amazing. So they actually go on the K24 coil packs and um, yeah, they're, they're the high booster um, coil pack like holders. Um, and you can see just from the movement there, they're pretty stuck in there as well. Like I've actually made them pretty good in there. But with the, the boot, they can't even, you know, they can hardly turn. So really, really happy with how they're just running the boots it's gonna be. So I'm gonna keep that for now. I um, need to give the whole thing a wash and go over. A uh, quick polish, cause it, she's dirty. A um, couple little touch ups and just make it all look nice ready for the outing um yeah as i said it's just only a couple of little things on the ecu that i want to change and i want to hook up the speed sensor as well i haven't got the speed sensor working so i've got to hook up the speed sensor um but yeah guys it's this is it um i actually did not try the two-step either so i haven't tried that yet um but yeah this thing is whew, absolutely amazing um yeah again thanks very much to fuel tech um i really can't wait I've, I've got the bike on there um i've got the go-kart on there and this one's next so this is what we're doing next uh so organizing um a fuel tech for this very shortly the next week or so and uh this thing's going to be even better to rip i can't, I can't wait for this thing because this was scary before so this is gonna be even better. So yeah, I'm uh, real happy with uh, yeah how this is gonna be um, turning out. So I don't know what sort of outputs and inputs I'm gonna run on this. Probably gonna be doing, still gonna have um, the clutch. 
Hey, buddy. Chill. Um, going to be probably running the two-step on the clutch. So I've got to organize that switch. It's got a um, the limit switch there as well for the clutch. So we can run a two-step on that, no worries. And um, just to probably get this thing up on boost would be a good thing. Um, and also, uh, yeah, just try to, yeah, organize a few things on this, actually. A speed sensor would be nice on this to try to get this um, off this as well. Um, they do run a speed sensor on the back of the box. So if I can try to get that hooked up as well. Um, gear selector as well. And um, yeah, this is not gonna be as much inputs and outputs as uh, this bad boy. So yeah, we've got the start button on here, uh, the ignition and start, so I don't need anything else. Um, I'm probably not gonna run, um, not sure if I'll run the ignition switch as well. We'll just see, because then it's another reel I don't, I don't really need. Uh, we've got the up and down gears, and um, yeah, this one's got uh, no jacks on this one, so um, I might put some jacks on it a bit later. Not sure, see how I feel. Um, but yeah, this one here is gonna be pretty sweet once it's um yeah once she's hooking so almost on fuel tech all right so i'm gonna call it i uh, just got to change up the display as well so that's the old mounting for the old uh, ems um bit and uh the old uh, mount for the uh, ecu down there so i can take uh that away as well and uh the fuel tech will go right there on the center all right guys this is just pretty much appreciation post for fuel tech themselves um yeah i have nothing but uh, good things about them um i'm just happy that everything is running so well that's all uh so they're almost all running on fuel tech i'm really trying for this year to smash them all out um you know so i've got the booster bike on there um the booster and almost that one now um next are going to be these bad boys all right they're all going to be fuel tech as well all right, I'm spending a lot of time on this at the moment and the bike will be very soon. Holding off on this one, guys, this one's gonna be a little bit later on build. Don't worry about that for now. But um, yeah, this one here and the bike is gonna be next. So trying to sweat out all the stuff and pieces all that at the moment. Um, and you guys see me, we've been working on it or the rear end and uh, just getting things done around here, guys. The exhaust is done now um, and a few other things. But uh, yeah. Oh, sweet. Uh, still need to just set up a couple more things on the bike as well. Um, haven't actually done any massive load on them at the moment. Um, I have been taken around the streets and stuff like that and been riding it. But um, uh, I'm waiting on a big injectors on this thing. This one's got the standard size injectors. Um, just been speaking with these guys down the bottom, demonic injection. Um, so thanks very much to Skylar there. Um, we're going to be organizing some ejectors through them um, and uh, yeah going to be making up to hopefully this thing's going to be getting into uh, some good big big boost soon so standard wastegate this one's not going to be running a, um, a Mac VR at all so I'm not going to run any boost control on this thing um, I'm just going to be running standard wastegate pressure I'm, I'll be right with that I think I think I've got a 13 pound spring in this thing pretty sure that's how big it is so that's going to give me a sufficient amount of power there so um yeah once that's um we just gotta yeah uh, get those injectors and then just yeah same thing with the the go-kart back and forth with nathaniel for a little tiny bit there to get everything 100 percent um that's very easy and uh yeah this thing here will be ready to um yeah make up some big pulls as well but yeah i uh, um just yeah there's so many things are going on at the moment guys so yeah very happy um yeah really looking forward to this as well so as I did say, this is my next one. That This one was going to be getting running. Um, and uh, yeah, ready to happen. Um, you did see it running before, but yeah, you wait to this thing here, you see this thing running because this thing's next level again now. So I'm actually in love with this thing again. Um, but yeah, ready to go from that one. All right, guys, I'm just going to head off. Um, as I said, I've got a few things happening at the moment. I've got everything coming this week. Um, well, a few parts actually anyway. And um, I'm almost gonna start wiring on this bad boy here as well. So, um, cause I've got the coil packs in there and uh, yeah, everything's all ready to get wired. So um, I did say I'm gonna get the bigger ECU on it, but I can wire all the auxiliaries and everything like the thermo fans, the water pump and all that. 
So yeah, I can make it just a quick little uh, PDM relay box. Um, same thing, just on ignition. The ignition switch is going to be the um, is going to be the switch. Um, I'm going to wire them up all like that now. I, I love that idea, and I think that's just such such a good idea. Just easier. Don't have ignition switch or anything like that. And more switches, like less switches, the better. So start button straight off of the ECU, um, and even on that one, I'm actually going to have the light buttons actually on the ECU as well. So I think that's going to be an awesome idea. Um, I'm just going to try to incorporate some cool features on this thing, you know, so um, Going to try to uh, maybe go the 550 or the 600 um, See what other features because they got more inputs more outputs. That's what they can do uh, But then also we can run um, The K20 in sequential mode. So once that's running sequential then that'll be you know that little bit better there as well and um, yeah, then we've got more output. Don't forget we've got uh, nitrous on this as, as well. So um, electric water pump as well. Plus also then thermo fan. We've got little more and more um, electric things that we need to control. So yeah, that's gonna be good once that's all happening. But um, as I did say guys, this is just pretty much appreciation post for Fuel, fuel Tech. Um, and yeah, really wanna th say thanks very much from Nathaniel and also uh, yeah, the Fuel Tech, the product itself. Um, yeah, if you guys are looking for an ECU or anything like that, just stop and yeah, just go nowhere else. So that's what I'm pretty much recommending to all of my friends and um, yeah, if I have customers. So as I did say, this is not a shop. This is my personal stuff only, but um, I do do cash jobs for people as well. So um yeah so thanks very much guys um i'll leave it off um thanks very much for subscribing thanks very much for um yeah loving the channel and the high boost will be on track very soon i promise i've got to get this thing out now that i'm very happy with it um before it was always back and forth with the tuning now i know that it's getting done properly and it's so much easier to get happening um i'm more than merry to get this thing out happening on the track so that thing will be out very soon and um, I'll do some more building videos this week for you. So thanks very much guys and I'll speak to you on the next video. See you peeps.